Matter of fact, give me this ETAM. If we could get this ETAM in here quick enough. Ah, no, that ain't gonna happen. Premature call up, that's fine. What up guys, Astro Manny here, back at it again with another video. Welcome back to another adventure of bounty hunting. That's another. Th that's what we're doing today, another bounty hunting video. And today we're bringing out probably the king, I'm going to say, of solo bounty hunting cargo looting. Okay, solo, fun factor, most probably well-balanced solo bounty hunting machine to do bounty hunting and looting sorry there's a there's a lot there's a lot of different types of bounty hunting going on but you guys know what i'm talking about making that cash looting some drugs from dead ships and making some money and that's what we're doing today we're driving the connie taurus and whatnot so uh that's what we're doing all right Let's get into it, guys. You guys know what to do. Smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. And, um, yeah, guys, I have a special announcement from none other than Giveaway Manny. So why don't you take it away, Giveaway Manny? Thank you. Wow, thanks, President Manny. Your videos are looking really good. You sound really good. You, the video's looking really good. Everything's looking really good. Keep up the good work, man. Anyways, it's giveaway time, guys. This is Astro Manny giveaway over here with the 325A. So check this out. We're going to have playing in the background here for you a couple pictures of the 325A to give you some more information. And I'm going to give you all the information you need right now, right, guys? Okay, so to enter this giveaway, it's going to be a random video that's going to be picked from now until... Uh, we hit 2,000 subs, so you need to make sure you're watching all the videos that Present Manny makes, or I make as Giveaway Manny, I don't know, but, you know, Present Manny's making the video, so, you know, watch his stuff. Anyways, uh, you need to make sure you're watching every single one of those videos, make sure you're liking all those videos, and commenting in all those videos, and of course subscribing, because we need to hit that subscriber count, and sharing the videos helps too, because then we hit the giveaway faster. So make sure you do all those things. And um, check out the pictures behind us to show you off the 325A. It is the Origin 325A. It comes with all kinds of special little um, little bells and, and, and whistles on it. It looks really good. Now, if you don't like the colors and the stuff that comes automatically with it, you can melt the ship, and then you can rebuy the ship, and then you can customize it whatever way you want. You might lose a little bit of money that way. Um, well, you're not losing any money because you're getting it for free as a giveaway, but you might lose some of the bells and whistles that you would have got for free on top of that. But anyways, you can melt it and then rebuy it and recustomize it and do it that way. So that's an option as well, but it comes with all these bells and whistles, beautiful colors, beautiful awesomeness. It's a 325A and it's a giveaway. So make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe, all those kinds of things. It really helps me out. I love you guys. I appreciate it. This is the giveaway. Also, there's other giveaways on the live streams and things like that. And check out the descriptions for other things like Discord and all those kinds of stuff. All those things are there and I appreciate you guys. I'm going to give it back to present Manny and you guys can enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, looking good, man. You're sounding good. Everything's good. Appreciate you. All right, we're back. Thanks, Giveaway Manny. You did a great job explaining all that. Appreciate you, buddy. Catch you next time in the next video. All right, so here we are in our Connie Taurus, and it's looking beautiful. We're hovering around Crusader, and now that I got a special buddy to help me do giveaways uh, information and stuff, uh, I don't have to sit here and do a whole spiel about it with you guys. But I will talk about, you know, the other things, but we'll, let's get into doing the mission while we talk about those things. <laughs> I hope you guys like that. It's a new thing I'm going to start doing. Uh, bounty hunting. Here we go. So, we can do ERTs in this thing. Alright? We can do anything in the Connie. Now, do I recommend doing ERTs solo? Maybe not. Maybe yes. Who knows? It depends. Um, we're going to start with the VHRT. We are in a heavy fighter, right? Okay? Not a heavy fighter. We're in a gunship, okay? We're in a gunship. We are in the Connie Taurus. Okay, the Constellation Taurus. Now the reason why I chose this ship is because it's a Connie. You have four size fours, gimbaled four size fours. If you choose to do gimbaled, I'm just gonna fire fixed. Um, I am using Rhinos, 
which are repeaters. Because that's what I do. I fire my repeaters. I'm firing my lasers. It's a beautiful ship. It's got the stock, or um, I mean, it's got the standard military loadout that I always do. So it's got uh, the FR-70, no, sorry, FR-86s. One FR-86. It's one size three shield, right? That's what Akani has. And it's got the four Rhino repeaters. It's also got an XL1 drive, if you're wondering what quantum drive I'm using, but that's really not a big deal, right? We don't really care too much about what the quantum drive is. Sadly, this isn't a Yella bounty mission, so or a Yella asteroid bounty mission. This is a Yella bounty mission, so we're going to try to kill things on the surface of the planet and see how it goes. And we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. But that's the loadout of the ship, whatnot. Um, what else to talk about, guys? Uh, you know... Since we already talked about the giveaway, what else did I talk about? But how about my stream schedule, guys? I'm streaming, like, every day right now. Uh, I am streaming mostly every day around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The actual schedule is Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. But right now, it's more like every day. So if you guys want to see me live on live stream, you can check me out either on Twitch or here on YouTube. And I'll be live at night at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So do check those streams out. Also, you can join up in the uh, YouTube membership program for the channel and go the extra mile in supporting me and my channel and uh, joining the membership program. That is a big help towards me and, and, of course, like I said, supporting me that extra mile and helping out the channel. It's very much appreciated. You get special emotes. You get... Uh, all the cool things like that you also members of the youtube channel get entered into the giveaways twice so you have double the chance of winning the giveaways if you're a member on this channel just want to throw that stuff out there for you guys as we're flying towards our next bounty target um sadly we had to do a little bit of traveling for this one but let's get back into the bounty hunting because Guys, to be honest, this is my first time doing the video with the giveaway cut, so me doing uncut stuff, it's a little... <laughs> I'm a little bit thrown off because I'm like, what What did I mention in the giveaway thing? What do I need to still talk about? What are the points I got to do? I start having notes next to me, guys. There's so much to talk about with you guys. I, I know I talk a lot, but it's my commentary. I got to give you guys commentary. That's, so many of you guys enjoy the fact that I just... I give you guys full commentary and everything I do and it's live commentary right this is the real Astro Manny this isn't rehearsed and fake and all that stuff it's just it's just me here playing the game and having a good time and that's what we're doing it's a little bit dark let's turn on the light no let's not turn on the lights let's keep those lights off <laughs> and we're rolling up on our bounty target <coughs> excuse me sorry um, again, we are planet side, moon side, celestial body side. We're, we're near the surface of the moon, okay? So when we kill the targets, we want to try to make sure that we kill them low to the ground so that we keep them soft death when they land on the ground. So we got a Carrick, a Corsair, double Corsair, okay? Corsair, Corsair, and a Carrick so far. We have plenty of firepower in the Kani, right? So that's the thing about running this ship solo, is it puts in the work. It's got a lot of damage. And it's also got lots of missiles. Look at that. Look at all those missiles, right? Lots of missiles. Target's not very happy with those missile locking them. So I'm gonna try to stay pretty low to the ground. We're going to go power to shields. We're actually going to go lower to the ground here. We're going to turn on coupled mode because I was in decoupled mode. Oh my god, I can't see shit, guys. Holy cow. I don't recommend doing this on a dark side of the moon. <laughs> I can't see anything, guys. I don't recommend doing this on the dark side of the moon at all. I think I'm going to bail out of this mission. 
<laughs> and just maybe go for the kill. I don't know, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. It is dark. But look at the firepower of the Connie, right? Look at that. And a full on barrage of that thing. It's soft death. Is it gonna die when it hits the ground? That's a good question. Where did it die? Probably about 2k up, so it might die when it hits the ground. I'm not sure. I just can't see anything, guys. <laughs> Let's get lower to the ground. The great thing is we have so much shields that we could kind of just, like, not care too much. So we watch... Horse hit the ground. That was an explosion. Oh no, that's just my. Oh look, the Corsair lived. What's this, the Carrick? Okay, so we just hold our power into shields. Continue smacking the Carrick here. I legit can't see anything. If I can't see anything, that probably means you guys can't see anything. <laughs> we don't even care about the Carrick too much because the Carrick's crappy loot pool is eh. I want to hit the back end of it here or the center, whatever the case. I'm surprised it's still alive. I'm surprised that thing's still alive. at the front of it now it is. Hi there, Kirk. Yeah, well you're dead. Can I help you, Mr. Corsair? I'm literally just sitting here taking everything. So the thing, like I said, with this ship is it's so tanky. We got really high up in the air again. I don't even know how we got this high. I just, I just legit can't see the ground. Unless I'm in third person. Okay, so here we go. Turn on the Corsair. Land our whole barrage. Let it charge up as he runs by us. Full on the capacitor on our weapons. Just gonna continue firing on him. Just landing all the shots. We're dealing damage to the hole now. Just landing all the shots. He's still alive somehow. It's actually out of control, it looks like. There it goes. Hang me down. There we go. We got the job done. It was a little bit sketchy. And whatnot, but got the job done. He should hit the ground and not explode. Incorrect. He did explode. Why did his partner not explode? He was... Gasping weevil legs. Okay, well, we're going down for what's down in this Corsair. That's for sure. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to top my my other video where I had gasping weevil legs and whatnot in my cargo run? But there you go. Look, that's a nice size crater, gasping weevil legs, too. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. We'll take it. Let's see what we can do. Careful. Actually, we don't even got to land, right? 
<clears throat> we could just hover. Well, we'll land just in case we need to get out of the county. So we'll go ahead and land. Now what we do here is we'll drop our elevators here. Right? All right, that's not helpful. It doesn't help that the Corsair is the Corsair. And it doesn't matter if it's dead or alive, it's still bugging out, right? <laughs> Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, instead of getting out, we're just going to go ahead and get in the lower turret here and put in our work with the lower turret. I'm going to turn power on. And I'm going to press, actually, I learned a few things in the last couple of videos, right? I press Q. Wow. Check out that. Guys, if you press Q, it's so much better. Pressing Q while you're on a tractor beam makes life so much better. Oh my gosh. Okay, well that's not very helpful having that elevator in the way so maybe it is a two-person job actually can I, I could oh my god I could pick up the whole Corsair get out of town Corsair <laughs> get out of town Corsair what do you got can I rotate you Anything in there? Get out of town, Corsair! <laughs> Alright. What do we got here? Slam? Sure. Don't mind me. I'm just slamming around, man. around don't mind me it's not the easiest thing now the weevil eggs get out of town Corsair it looks like I am gonna have to get out of the ship or readjust it those are my choices right get out of the ship or readjust it Those are your choices. <laughs> I'm telling you, if this was in space, it would have been much easier, right? Because you can adjust a lot differently. What we'll do is we'll go out the uh, porthole here. It's it's not a huge box of gas. Like, that's good money, guys. That's that's a million right there, right? That's a million cash monies right there. And there you go. That's a nice little grab. We'll get back in our ship and we'll move to the other guy. To the other Corsair. Who was soft death. And what else was there? There was a there was a Carrick, which I believe is soft death as well, or maybe he's full death. I didn't really get to tell. This is just mission one. By the way, so the server I'm in, the server I am in is also a 30 FPS server, by the way, guys. So this server is whew, on fire. So that's why I was also a little bit worried about the fighting, but nonetheless, we handled it just fine. Can we find our other blip on the radar? Is the question. I mean, there it is right there, right? The Corsair. Don't know where the uh, 
Other thing is the Carrick, it must have fully blown up. Unfortunate. We're going to try to scan the Corsair from this far away. Unfortunately, that is not a perfect scan. It almost looked like it was going to give us a perfect scan, and I was going to be mildly surprised. This time it did give us a nice scan. It's got 75 Oxytocin on it. Why not fill us up, right? Why not? Hey, look, there's the Carrick, by the way. The Carrick landed next to the Corsair. That's crazy. Um, doesn't seem to have any boxes in the Carrick. So the Carrick was empty. All right. So what do we got here in our Corsair? Uh, what's he looking like? Is that an upside down Corsair? Sure, sure, sure. Upside down Corsair. So what I'm gonna try to do is shoot open the door. It's a little bit dangerous. What I'm doing here. I think I got it to shoot open. I can't really tell. Can you guys tell if that door of the Corsair is open? I can't see a damn thing. I legit can't see a damn thing. To me, it does not look like the door that Corsair is open. Oh, look, here we go. Here's a better view. That's not helpful. And the storm of yellow. I believe I'm on yellow, right? Is absolutely killing this whole operation. Here, I'll tell you guys what. Wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you guys what. What am I tripping about, guys? Guys, what am I tripping about? <laughs> Let's land this thing. <laughs> I'm sorry for the miscombobulations on all this, but we can make life so much easier on ourselves. So much easier on ourselves. Let's get back in the remote turret. Right? In the tractor beam turret. Okay. And let's... Visuals on this turret is not the greatest. Okay. Corsair is too big to flip around. Corsair is too big to flip around. <sighs> Alright. I give up on this planet side mission. We're going to go into space and go do more space missions. How about that? You win some, you lose some. So this is testing. You're, you guys are sitting here in science with me, right? We have a VHRT on Daymar, and we have a ERT in the asteroid belt. So let's just go ahead and do the ERT. Now, I don't like to do the ERTs because I don't like to deal with 890s. Um, because the 890s are, are just... I guess when you're using a Connie, it's probably not that big of a deal. But they just take so long to kill. I don't know. It's whatever. Whatever works. We're gonna find ourselves an OM marker. OM5 seems to be the answer. There it is, OM5. Don't mind me. 
me, guys, you know, just trying to get things figured out in the middle of the video. But that's okay. Because we're learning together. It's all about the adventures we take together, ladies and gentlemen. The adventures we take together. And I do want to talk about how I appreciate how many, how many adventures we take together as a content creator to viewers, to, to homies, to friends. You guys mean so much to me. I appreciate everything you guys do. Hit smashing that like button, leaving those comments. I love having conversations in the comments below with you guys. We got ourselves another Carrick right away. I'm gonna just fire a bunch of missiles at this Carrick because why not? What else we got? And Constellation Phoenix, I don't like those. Constellation Andromeda, sure, that's okay, I guess. A little busty on this, on these two bounties. We got double Corsair, double Connie. Those aren't the best ships. If we're getting what we want in cash money. It's also an unknown target down there, but that's probably a redeemer. take votes on what the final target is. Oh, an A2 Hercules Starlifter. Well, I guess we were all wrong. <laughs> or I was wrong, right? I'm trying to throw missiles at this character. There we go. Missiles can a carrot take? Probably a lot, right? Again, you just hold all your power to shields, and you should have zero problems with tanking most of the targets. Be careful fighting against ballistic. Uh, enemies so, like fighting against an inferno or a redeemer can be a little bit dangerous but fighting something like a Carrick and other ballista bound ships not too bad your biggest danger is the asteroids so be careful of asteroids if you watch the live stream the other day you'll know that um, asteroids can sometimes get Astro Manny <laughs> We are taking a lot of bit of damage here. To our shields at least, you know. So be aware of our shields. They are getting low. Might have to regroup. And we're down. Our shields are actually quite fine. They're really not that bad. Let's pull away a little tiny bit. That's just a Connie on Connie. No problem here. It's a Connie Phoenix, by the way. And we don't care about Connie Phoenixes at all. Because their cargo grids are bugged. So we actually get nothing out of the Connie Phoenixes. So we could full death it if we want to, not that you have to, but the cargo grid, it might actually even show that there's cargo on it, but it's been glitched, and I don't know if it's fixed now to be honest, I haven't checked in a while, but the last time I checked it was glitched, so be aware of that. A2 is a big money maker, right? We don't have a big C2 to do the A2. <laughs> But, we do have a Connie Taurus that could hold quite a bit of cargo. And if we get small Weevil Lakes, we can always take it into our extra hidden cargo location. But we'll only do that if we have Maze or um, Weevil Lakes. 
won't bother with the slam and the other whatnots. So you just hold your target, hold position, just continue to wail on them non stop. What are they gonna do to your big old ship? Absolutely nothing. You start dealing damage to them. You gotta recharge your weapons a little tiny bit. Follow through. Start dealing damage to them. Watch your shields a little bit, I guess. Wow, this. The A2 has a little bit involved spot. Do you see that? Oh, he's on the offensive now. So they've taken our shields down, and they're they decided to go on the offensive now. Can I please? into my target. Okay, thank you. There we go. That's what we want to see, the belly. Good hits, good hits. Enemy down. A2's got lots of turrets on it, so he can be a little feisty. Just hang in there. Get the job done, and well done. And he's definitely going to have cargo on him, right? When do you see an A2 empty? I mean, he's definitely got cargo on him. What is the cargo is another question. And, <laughs> well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, how about the jackpot? Oh, it's not a jackpot. It's only 18 SCU. I thought it was a lot more than that. <laughs> I thought there was a lot of maze on there, but there's not a whole bunch. We'll take the maze. And we'll line up put the nose as much as we can into the A2. Alright. I think, I haven't practiced this by the way guys, <laughs> on where I need to be on the cargo for the tractor beam to work. I feel like if I can see the cargo with the with the canopy of the of the um, of the ship itself, then that's a good indication. So what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna call the elevator up. I called the elevator up, so now it's not in the way. Then I'm gonna enter the tractor beam. We're learning, guys. I called the elevator up, so now it's not in the way. Okay. So we could see it. It's down the road a bit, but it works, right? Don't lose it. I'll press Q again. All right. Yep. So now we have a better FPS kind of. Load out. Ooh, that's a big ETAM. I mean, ETAM is good. We'll hold this boy off to the side here, though. So here we go. We got a nice sized maze. Now, I want to test something, right? This is for science. Okay. I, I can't. The visuals on this tractor beam is absolute garbage. I will say that. But I'm going to test something. What if I put this here? Now let's just leave that there for a second. I have a plan, guys. Here's some neon. We 
could even check to see what's in the other ships. We should have. So spirits garbage. Widow's pretty good. We'll put the widow right here, right? More ETAM. And you could see how this would be better if you had a partner. I'm just gonna leave the. I'm just looking for the other maze. There was 15 maze. Or something like that. There's Oxytross, and we don't even want the Oxytross, and we're actually gonna toss that. We don't have room for oxytocin. It's not any good. So we don't even want that. And matter of fact, we don't even want the neon for sure. We decided neon's not good enough. Where's the rest of the maze? Oh, it was a big box. It was a big box of maze. That's a 16 crater maze. Or a 12 crate. I don't know. Which one is that? 16, 12? And the last, there we go. I couldn't even see it back there. It's at a rendering distance. That's crazy. I think it's empty. <laughs> I think it's empty. If I zoom in, I think it's empty. Oh, we could take the bomb. <laughs> uh, what else we got here, right? Etam, Etam, Widow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna just leave that like that. We're we're nitpicking today. For video sakes, we're nitpicking and learning some things. Good money so far. Okay, so remember what I did with that that uh, maze over here? Look at that! Look at that, guys! Oh. Oh! Ho ho ho! Okay. This isn't gonna work. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt, guys. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop out of the ship. Grab it. And then we're gonna put it on the pad. And we're gonna call this up. But, we're going to make more room, right? Um, matter of fact, give me this ETAM. If we could get this ETAM in here quick enough. Ah, no, it ain't going to happen. Premature call-up, that's fine. Because what I'm going to do, there's other ships with other stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here, right? I'm just trying to do what I can to make this the best Connie experience. Okay, grab this maze. So we know we want this maze, right? Oh wow, it does loot. It does stack to be high. Ah, oh, the Taurus is really something different. There we 
we go. There's not a whole lot of storage back there. And this goes three high. Which I didn't think about either, by the way. So... <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of learning all around for this ship. <laughs> and remember, we have a bunch of ETAM there if we want to come back for it. And we probably will. I'm just being very nitpicky for the video, guys. Very nitpicky. Where is all of our other targets? There's one. That's the Phoenix. We soft death everything. Carrick, Andromeda, the whole nine yards. Yeah, they are. There's the Carrick. I'm scanning the Connie Andromeda. I'm not even looking at it. see it though. Okay, we got RCM. How much of it though? Is that a hundred and forty? No, it's only fourteen. Unfortunate. Now the Carrick's a pain in the butt to get to its cargo, so we don't normally like Carrick's. But Weevil Eggs are worth the trouble. And Maze is currently definitely worth the tr trouble at the moment. It looks like this Corsair is empty. Carrick. Why do I keep... Corsair, Carrick. Words. I apologize. Okay, it's most definitely not empty. It's got a bunch of oxytrocin and the rest is legal stuff, so we don't care about any of that to be honest. And sometimes how long it takes to kill these soft death targets blows my mind. Unless that's an invuln spot. It's definitely an invuln spot, huh? What's up with all these ships having invuln spots? That's ridiculous, right? See? That straight up was an invuln spot. That's crazy. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna bother. Go back to the A2, pick up our ETAM, or do we want to do one more mission? Nah, let's go back to the A2, pick up our ETAM, and then get out of here. If we can find the A2. There it is. My radar on the, the Constellation isn't doing so great. Now guys, this was not the best run at all. But I still found a little bit of Weevil Eggs and a little bit of Maze. So it's still not a bad run. So you can see the potential of all this, right?
And we'll just grab everything. Even though we started tossing everything, we'll just grab everything. There's so much potential. Okay. So we're gonna get out and we're gonna do the same thing as we did before. We're gonna call this elevator up so it doesn't get in the way. We're gonna get in this turret and we're gonna move these boxes without ever having to get out of our vehicle. And you press Q to switch it to this mode. You see how I switch from this to this by pressing Q. It's a nice little thing that someone in the comment section was very nicely, very nice of them to tell me how to do that. Thank you very much. Just gonna stuff that all the way to the back and we have plenty of room for all this stuff we could have got a lot more if we had better targets but that was not the case I don't want to make an hour-long video if you guys want to see more of me doing this there's gonna be more videos of me doing this in the future and there's also the live streams that I stream almost every single night at 10 p.m. EST time. So if you want to see more of this, come check out the live streams, guys. Lots and lots of this and lots of other crazy fun shenanigans that us and the whole crew run. The entire org is almost, at least the core part of the org is on every single night, guys. So we have all kinds of fun every single night and you guys are welcome to join us and have all the fun with us and have just wonderful times together and, and, and be happy, right? We'll even grab the Oxytrocin because because why the hell not, right? Yeah. We threw the Oxytrocin away, but guess what? We can still grab it. Being all that way away, we can still grab the Oxytrocin. That's crazy. Um, we'll even grab the Neon. Being all that way away. Now we really don't care about the distilled spirits wherever the distilled spirits went. But like I said, we'll grab the neon and we'll grab the oxytrocin and we'll fill up to as much as we got. We'll throw this on. And as you can see, the tours can fit a lot more, guys. A heck of a lot more. So, go out there, take your Connie Taurus, and go get paid. Leave it down in the comments below what other ships you want to see. And also leave down in the comments below if you want to see more Connie Taurus gameplay. Because this thing is a monster. An absolute monster. You want to see what else the Connie Taurus could do? I don't know if the the C1 we used not too long ago, right? It has a tractor beam, right? But it has a size 1 tractor beam. I put... It doesn't come by default. You have to put it on there. But I put a size 2 tractor beam on this thing. So I believe I could move the whole A2. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, let me grab the whole A2. Thought I could. I don't know. Alright, anyways. That's gonna be our... Our loot. It's not a whole lot. We got a good amount of maize and a good amount of... Oxytrocin. Or... Weave legs and whatnot. And we got some slam. We have a lot of good stuff. And I'm going the wrong way. Oh well. We're done here, guys. Now, I'm going to show you a few tricks of the trade since Jump Town is currently live while I'm recording this. So I'm going to show you a few tricks of the trade that you can do. 
first off, we're gonna go to Brio's and sell all of our drugs. And you guys are gonna be here with me for it, because it's not that big of a deal, right? We're gonna go to Brio's. A quantum over there. Now, in the C1 video, I said go to uh, Art Corp and go to Samson's Sons and Salvage. Now, I still recommend that you go to Art Corp or Microtech or um, Hurston to sell your drugs instead of going to Brio's because Brio's is a hot zone. I still 100% recommend you do that. Okay? So when you're going to go sell, especially if you're playing solo, go to a less hot spot zone. Damar, is, Damar and Brio's is a very very big hot spot go to a different location okay I'm going to Brios because I'm on a server with one other guy at the moment <laughs> this is oh two other guys the homie doc is here <laughs> so uh, there's two other guys in this server And that's just because this is seven o'clock in the morning and no one is else no one else is on it's a Wednesday at seven o'clock in the morning so nobody else is on so I'm going to go to Brio's because it's gonna be empty on a normal basis especially if I'm solo I'm not gonna to go to Brio's All right, we're gonna land here at Brios and sell our drugs and see how much we make. Gonna drop that landing gear. Landing gear deployed. Adjust the trajectory. My third person view is kind of whack. Can I please adjust that? Thank you. And make our beautiful landing. However you want to land yourself, wherever you want to land yourself here at Brio's, just make it beautiful. Engines off. Engines are off. Now I'm just waiting for the special Connie, the Connie special ability, and have the elevator make us do a flip. You guys ready to see the special Connie ability? Elevator flip power, go! No, I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> so again, I don't even gotta check the corners because there's nobody on this server, but if you are on a normal server, you need to check your corners. Make sure that everything's safe. Especially check that my gun is bugged. Sorry. Especially check this corner. My whole character is bugged. He thinks it's, she thinks she's falling. Okay. All right. Can we sell while we're bugged? Sure. All right. Constellation Taurus. We got nine gasping weevil legs. That's a mill right there. Like I said, guys. Nine gasping weevil legs. Boom. Okay. So that's one mill there. Another. There you go. So 1.1. 1 .1. Okay. And then we got Slam and Widow are not available to sell. That's so lame. 29 E Tam. That's another 300k. Oxytrocin. I told you that oxytocin wasn't really worth, but since we had nowhere to go, might as well. Okay, boom. Now we got 18 maize, right? And we could sell the 18 maize here for 1.5 mil, right? And make that 1.5 mil, 
but jump town is going on guys so let's not sell that maze here and we're actually going to take it to the station that jump town is currently over the top of so in that case jump town is on lyria on art corp so we're actually going to fly to art corp and go to bajini point and sell our maze on bajini point and we're going to get double that 1.5 Yes, I said double that 1.5, making it 3 mil. So, on this Taurus, we definitely hit the same amount of money we did in the C4. We hit 4 million, and we didn't even have a full load. Not even close at all. Not even mildly close to having a full load on this ship. And I know this video is running a little bit longer than um, the last one, but it's got a lot to it. It's a lot going on. It's a lot of fun. So, we're going to head over to Art Corp now, and I am going to do a cut here, and I'll be back with you guys when we make it to Art Corp. I'm not going to have you guys sit in quantum travel with me as I go all the way to Art Corp, because that's just too much. So, I am going to go to Art Corp, set my point for a Bajini point, hopefully. Boom. There we go. Go to Art Corp. I'll start it off. Or start it going. And I'll see you guys when I get there. Alright guys. Um, as soon as this quantum jumps, we'll do a cut. See you guys on the other side. See you at Bajini Point. For that extra bit of cash. Alrighty ladies and gents. We are back and we have made it to Bajini Point. We do have drugs on us. So you do have to make sure that you don't get scanned by the popo as you go pulling into Bajini Point, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I preferably don't even really want to land in a hangar, but I guess I will, because I might as well refuel while I'm here. Um, or whatever the case is, I don't know, because it doesn't matter. But here we are, Bajini Point, rolling on with our Connie. Some people might be asking, well, do I like doing this in the Connie? Or do I like doing this in the C1? Which one's the better one to use? If you're solo, which one's the better one to use? Well, guys, the simple the simple answer to that is the Connie is just better, okay? It's got more space. It's got more firepower. It's got more shields. It's safer, okay? The Connie is the better ship, and it's going to earn you more money. Nonetheless, flying a big gunship solo can sometimes be annoying and a little bit of a pain in the butt just because it just doesn't fly very fast and it's big and bulky and sometimes the C1 being a small little nimble ship not like a light fighter or anything but it's much more smaller and much more nimble than a Connie Taurus you might possibly want to just drive the C1 just because of the size and the fun factor I'll tell you, driving the C1 is a hell of a lot of fun. Now, the, like I said, the Connie is the much, much more efficient choice. But driving the C1 is a hell of a lot of fun. And that's my opinion on which one to choose from. Now, as this series continues to go on, we're going to add more and more ships in. And we'll compare more and more ships. But, um, for right now, the Connie Taurus is the efficient one. But, you have to ask yourself, what do you want? Efficiency or fun? Or whatever the case is. Uh, if I'm going to do this, and I'm going to, if I'm going to, if I was looking to make money, I'm, I'm taking the Connie all the way, guys. Because I'm all about efficiency, I want to make the money. And I want to get paid, and I want to buy what I want to buy. But, to be honest, I'm not going to be doing this a whole lot by myself. I'll probably doing it with friends and whatnot. So there's other options and other things to do. But that's just my two cents, guys. So again, here we're at Bajini Point because we got a bunch of maize. And we can sell the maize here at Bajini Point because Jump Town is down on Lyria. And we can make double the, double the cash money. 
So no matter where Jumptown is, because today Jumptown, for while I'm recording this video, it's on Lyria, therefore you go to Bajini Point, you may be watching this video and be like, oh, well, it's on Microtech today, so I need to go to Port Tresler. You are correct. You would go to the admin on Port Tresler. But today we're going to the admin on Bajini Point. Or maybe you go to the admin in Seraphim if it's on top of Yella. But today, again, it's on Bajini Point. We got 18 maze that over at Brio's, it was saying that it was going to give us 1.5 mil. Over here, we're going to get 2.88. We doubled our price. We're making double the amount of money. So there you go, guys, ladies and gentlemen. We made 4 million in our Connie Taurus. Just like we made 4 million on our C1 Spirit. But we didn't even use a third of our cargo grid. And we still have Slam and Widow still on there. But for some reason, Brios wasn't taking it. And I wasn't going to sit there and wait or anything. But nonetheless, that's that. That's the Connie Taurus in Bounty Hunting. Now I go out there and get away from the announcer lady. Because I don't want to hear her talking in my videos. Stop it, announcer lady. Leave me alone. Get away from the announcer lady. All right. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this is helping in any way it can. I can. Um, if you have any questions, you guys know what to do. Leave a comment down below. Please smash that like button and share the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Giveaways, all kinds of fun things. So much going on in this channel. Let's just keep it going, guys. This is Asher Manny signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day. And adios.